Welcome back to Manimal Across New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. I shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Fawn Hollow today. <laughs> Excuse me, my throat is just dying. For no apparent reason, um, it's not even that cold. We, well, I mean, I mean, it is still pretty cold in the UK, but the heating is slightly on. With these lovely radiators radiating out. I, I, I don't know why I was going with this. <laughs> it was meant to be some sort of grand energy, grand sort of speech thing about the usefulness of you know indoor heating but it didn't really go anywhere so anyway hello <laughs> everyone right now in fawn hall it's 322 pm on thursday october 14 2021 what been up today um not much just the usual so oh uh i thought you were gonna say something different as well never mind um, particularly interesting last night of course um the, the tartaglia slash child banner did come out for genshin impact i luckily did win for 50 50 once more um <laughs> somehow um so I, I did get him rather swiftly, although I don't have enough materials in game to completely build him yet. To the ever stylish Fabu, you know my style is always on point from head to toe, and sometimes when I see something that will look good on someone, I think we've had this. I think we've had this before. The ever 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 stylish sounds vaguely familiar to me. We don't have red as others did today. I did not pay attention to see if it was someone waiting in the square, and it's not. So um, I guess we'll just sort of um have to find out. <laughs> who is exactly what, what's wrong with me I've got like a ticket on my throat I, I probably shouldn't have started recording until it was, it was probably gone but here we are we've committed to the entire thing now just gotta gotta get out your system something like that um yeah I don't know what, what, what should we talk about today we've got one more day until the Animal Crossing Direct comes out that's very exciting of course Unless you're not interested in Animal Crossing, in which case I suppose it's considerably less exciting. But if you're not interested in Animal Crossing, the <laughs> fact you're what's wrong with my throat watching these Animal Crossing videos is a testament of, I suppose, to your own. <laughs> no, that's it. Just am I okay? I think I'm dying. Hold on. I... No, let me have a sip of water. You know, everyone stay hydrated. It's like those situations when you can't stop laughing, but... <laughs> Am I okay? I think, I, I think I'm actually dying. Aren't we all in our own very slow pace? Hopefully. I promise you I'm not ill or anything. I, <laughs> I, I assume something just got stuck in my throat. And my throat is not very good at clearing things out. So that's just how it happened. Oh, you know what? It's completely irrelevant, but I forgot I was meant to make a, a phone call today. I had to do that later. That's fine. Ah, oh, Flick, you are our visitor. I saw Tank just around here. Hello, Apollo. Where have you gone, Tank? There you are. We might as well give you the fossils while you are right here in front of us. Uh, I was saying, it's like trying to suppress a cough. Okay, what's harder? Trying to suppress a cough or trying to suppress a sneeze? Because I actually think... It, I can't remember, remember if I actually read this somewhere or not, if it's something I just made up in my head. But it's something you can do to like suppress a sneeze. That when you when you start feeling that urge to sneeze come along, what you can do is you like tickle the, the, the roof of your mouth, the back roof of your mouth or your tongue or whatever, and that will cause you to um like cancel your sneeze somehow. As deeply unsatisfying as it is, to be fair, um, it, it seems to have worked out pretty, you know, every time I've done it, I think. <laughs> And it's one of those things I think about sometimes. I'm like, I wonder if this is one of those placebo things. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. I wonder if it's a placebo effect or not. Like, it, it doesn't actually, like, satisfy your urge to sneeze or whatever. It's just, like, you think it does, and thus it does. Because your brain just, for some reason, works in this unfathomable way of deciding, yeah, you know what? If you believe something's, this is how something works, it's going to work that way for now. <laughs> Although, to be fair, with placebo effects, I have read that they, they still work even though if you haven't, um... No, if you even if you know that a placebo effect or something like that, <laughs> the, the finding out that there is a placebo effect does not necessarily um, cancel out the effect of it. Somehow, I, I have no idea how that exactly works, but maybe I suppose you probably shouldn't take exactly what I say yeah, <laughs> for gospel or anything, as you probably should not do for like anyone to be honest. Um, all humans and we're all fallible in our own way. But I just, I just found it interesting, you know. I don't know if it's one of the things which actually, like, um... <laughs> as soon as I read it, 
it's just going to like lose its effectiveness or perhaps I'm getting to like too up in my own head about it I think it's going to lose effectiveness and thus it will, will lose effectiveness while it actually is a thing for most people but I've got like this own placebo effect where I'm going to cancel out its effect in my mind which I guess makes it a nocebo effect oh I don't know I'm not going to catch up butterfly I'm not going to ruin your good time you're having over there Polly um it's a weird scenario but anyway sne sne uncontrollable sneezing uncontrollable coughing which one is harder to um, suppress? I'm gonna. I'm not sure if people agree with me. I I think a cough, and for me at least personally, an unlike um, stoppable cough. Well, okay. If I describe it as unstoppable, it's a bit like I'm sort of <laughs> massaging um what I'm going for. Do we have? I think we have a bad in the dragonfly thing already. But like a coughing fit is significantly harder to suppress than a sneezing fit. I find. I th I feel like you can sort of s somehow. Suppress the sneezing hit fit by just doing some like weird thing like he's going ah, ah, ah. And you sort of like do some weird inhales and then it stops somehow You know the human body works in mysterious ways. I don't even know why we sneeze in the first place I assume it's to expel like um Things which are d disrupting our I can say <laughs> air cavities. That's not really how you describe it nasal cavities Or something like that And that just happens to be the most efficient way of the body dealing with that system But if anything, I guess it kind of makes more sense that coughing should be harder to suppress in the first place because normally you only cough because it's something like inhibiting or like irritating something which something to do with your like your your breathing system. That, that, I don't know what that's called your your respiratory system. There you go. <laughs> so like um you have a bit of a coughing fit if you like swallow a liquid down the wrong your like your wait hold on trachea break yeah trachea no. Why do I have like the word brachiole in my head? Trachea into brachia into brachiole, is that right? Is that how the lung systems work? If anything, it should make more sense that it should be harder to suppress a cough or like um, a choking fit or anything like that. Because um, if you have something like blocking your windpipe or anything like that, it's probably a bit more of a utmost importance that you get that out immediately, lest you um, like literally, you know, suffocate. And, you know, oxygen is pretty imperative to the function of a human brain or well, in most cases i'm sure there's exceptions probably aren't any exceptions let's be honest <laughs> but still um compared to sneezing which is just like a i mean i guess if sneezing is like blocking out sort of like clearing out your sinuses and your nose and that sort of thing i guess that could impair your breathing as well and i suppose most people can relate to getting a very stuffy cold or whatever just completely not being able to breathe because of mucus lodged up in there um but some i, I guess in my mind they feel a bit different having like a, a blocked nose quote quote versus having a blocked trachea is it actually trachea hold on. trachea i check i'm getting my terminology right yeah it's trachea hold on larynx trachea a bronchi that's it what, what did i say before wait did i say bronchi maybe i did i can't remember it's all a bit gone from my memory um, I, I think I'll hit rocks and then we'll find out who are not who our visitors. We'll find out. No, we'll we'll, we'll go um, do flick stuff, put stuff away. If that makes no sense. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it makes sense to clear out your like breathing, your windpipe, your breathing tube, if you want to put it weirdly. Although that just kind of makes it sound like a snorkel. Now I think about it, um, because that's a thing which sort of takes priority to your living as a human being. In most cases, I find. Why do it, it, sneezing must be to like spout mucus or something like that? I can't. I can't think what else it would be. And that can stop your breathing, but I don't know. <laughs> you would have thought maybe we'd have a more efficient system to get stuff out, but I, I guess you really can't because you know it's not like your trachea or like anything in your respiratory system is particularly well uh, designed to try and actually um, expel anything out of it should something get stuck in it you know i can't really i can't really blame my lungs for not having a system to dislodge food or to get food out in a much more graceful way than just sort of hacking up like crazy maybe that's my own bitterness because i have a sort of like a, a chronic cough why why i, I don't know I, I just do I, I cough a lot i cough quite loud and it sounds um quite rough I'm sure that's probably what's contributed to my bit of a little bit of rasp that appears in my voice, but I don't really know why. 
Um, but hopefully, at some point, it'll be <laughs> found out that, you know, doctors are just not like, nah. <laughs> apparently. Apparently, I went to see a doctor when I was very young, and they just were like, nah. <laughs> or, okay, we didn't do it quite like that, but we just like, we can't find a reason for it. Irritating, yes, but something just something you kind of live with. In the end, I'm sure if I had it replaced with, like, um, a sneezing problem, where well, I just couldn't stop sneezing. I cannot stop sneezing. <laughs> so, I don't know. Just my hero academia is apparently on my mind. I'm just itching. I want season. Oh, that was by Chef. I Chef and my new leaf. Says he, village town. Why? Well, I don't know. If she's still there. I just kind of assumed that she is. She might not be. To be fair, um, we should also do some fishing because that was our our main mission. But yeah. Um. Like actually, I don't know. Hold on. I think suppressing a cough, which is like clearing out your throat. But suppressing a clear of a throat is significantly easier than suppressing a cough which is like a choking cough, you know, one which is like a trying to get like a crumb out of your trachea or I, I keep I keep saying the word trachea, I don't I don't know why. <laughs> this is now the, the word which is firmly cemented itself in my brain as a representation of like windpipe and the breathing the respiratory system. Clearing your throat is easier to suppress. Cause to be fair, once I got more conscious of about the fact that I have a very sort of like loud barking-esque cough, you know? Like I don't really want to dis disturb everyone by saying that <laughs> every like um, 30 seconds ago. It's very annoying. It annoys me, to be fair. Probably more than it annoys other people, but um, still it's like I can understand the nuisance of it. But, but you know, I can just like stop coughing. Forcibly stop coughing for a while. It's just uncomfortable. It just feels like something's like in my throat if I do it, but you know. If you've got to clear your throat, and you know, people aren't going to be bothered by it, clear your throat. Com comfort is key, as long as it doesn't come out at the cost of other people. To a certain degree, you know. But there's always exceptions to these sort of um, uh, broad strokes rules. That's, that's what I want, broad strokes uh, rules. I try to paint. They're arbitrary, so I don't really follow them to the T. Um, where was I going with this? I don't know if I was going anywhere with this. But stifling a sneeze. You know what? Stifling a laugh. That's pretty difficult. <laughs> you, ever, you ever have those moments where you just like start laughing and you for some reason can't stop laughing? A very... I don't know. I, I, I guess any sort of situation where you, you can't control your body is... I'm not going to say it's... Well, I, I guess it kind of is frustrating, if anything. But it's my... I, I feel like saying that's a bit weird in the context of like... Um, Having to laugh, and I'm not. I'm not talking about um, the Joker, the laughing condition, which I've got to assume is actually based off an actual thing. And I, I never actually bothered to look at that, but I assume that's an actual thing where people have conditions where they can't stop laughing, can't stop doing X, Y, Z. They are rather annoying for the person, I might say. Not, not like as not as an outsider looking in. I, I suppose <laughs> you can rest assured that I'm not particularly um bothered by the ongoings of strangers around me. You know, if I'm like. For example, if I'm on London Underground and someone just like can't stop laughing, just like the, the, the movie Joker, I'd just be like, alright, maybe they're looking at something funny, I don't, know. I, don't, I don't care, I'm just trying to get to my destination, if anything, as long as they're not like in distress or anything, should be okay, in my eyes. So if you are one of those few people who have, probably have that rare sort of condition, don't worry about it. But that's, that's not my opinion about that sort of thing. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how we swung around to this. But like, stifling laughter in a situation when you shouldn't be laughing. Why, why is your, why is the human brain like that? Why is it like when you're in a situation where you're like, I know I shouldn't laugh at this, but why is it so funny? Your, your brain, it's like your brain decides to deliberately do the worst thing possible. You know, like consciously you are aware that you should not be laughing at this. You are aware that this is like a terrible, time to be laughing and you're aware that it's not funny but for some reason as soon as your brain starts laughing it's like this is a unstoppable situation it's a, it's a, a slippery slope down to laughs town oh what's this I got a discord message hmm mm. you know what had to reply to that later um yeah what was I saying <laughs> Yeah, j j just something about laughter, and your brain sort of just like I'm, I'm gonna latch onto this 
Maybe, you know, it's sort of just a situation like, you know, your brain's like, oh, you know, laughter's always good. <laughs> just get to keep that laughter like cycling on a loop or something. And just keep an infinite feedback loop. The fact that you can't stop laughing is, the, the concept of it is utterly hilarious to you. I mean, you just keep going and you keep going and you keep going and you can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop, won't stop the beat. I can't, can't, can't control my feet. And thus it makes it rather difficult to break out of that sort of infinite cycle of laughter. <laughs> you, you might think I'm a crazy person if you've never experienced this. To be fair, I've never experienced it, I don't think, in a, in a inappropriate setting. I feel like I'm in inappropriate settings, I, I, I can sort of suppress it, but not, not everyone can, necessarily. And I'm not, I'm not trying to say that in like a dissuasive way, being like, oh, look at you rude people who clearly can't, just can't stop laughing in a very serious situation, you know. It's just a uncontrollable situations are uncontrollable. That, that's what they are by definition. So, who am I to judge? In that sort of thing. Um, oh yeah, we we're meant to like get more um, sticks at some point. So I record. We are slowly running out of the twigs in our storage. How much wood do we have? Do we have enough wood now? Oh yeah, we got we got plenty of wood. We don't need that much anymore. Um, what was that? Oh yeah, bugs. What bugs, what three bugs do we got? A walker cicada, evening, giant, red dragonfly. I guess red, red dragonfly. So that is, is the next one that we have. We'll go, uh, we need to get changed and then we'll go give us the flick. I wonder if I should change my outfit up at some point. <laughs> What's crazy to me is the fact we're about like episode 200 or so now. That's, that's insane. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, not episode 200, but episode 200 of year 2. That is insane, how quickly that seems to have passed. It, it, it doesn't feel like all that long ago if I actually drew, like, um, the new thumbnail for the Animal Crossing series. Isn't it weird how time flies like that? Anyway. But in situations which are... But in situations where it is appropriate to be laughing and be stuck in that cycle of laughing, like sort of contagious laughter, as they call it, um, honestly, hilarious. It's fantastic. No, nothing brings me greater joy than, you know, that sort of situation where something so hilarious happens that you start laughing and, you know, you and your friends, you're, you're finally calming down, you're finally, like, getting to grips with the normal situation and, you know, you're getting it under control and you just look at each other and just immediately burst out laughing again. Those moments, I don't know. I would say they're, they're special, but they're, they're sort of, <laughs> I suppose that's giving it a bit too much of a grandiose look to it. I suppose we are special in the time we're sort of connecting with your friends, but something about them just makes them very memorable. Um, to me in my mind. Of course I have my own, but they have my own memories. <laughs> they, they, they probably don't really have the same impact upon sharing them. And I worry if they lose their own sort of efficacy with me. If I start telling them and being like, you know what, this is not actually as entertaining as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but yeah, um... That, that contagious laughter, I suppose. By the way, fantastic subreddit to go peruse. <laughs> I suppose watching other people have fun. So hard that you start having fun as well with them, despite the fact you're not really privy to the, the context or the situation. I guess it's kind of enjoyable, you know? Turns out laughing kind of fun a lot of the time. Maybe not for everyone, but for me, at least. Yeah, not, not, not I guess, with Joker, but I guess I'm not, I'm not the Joker. I'm not going to become the Joker. Well, I don't intend on becoming the Joker. But, um, yeah, I don't know, this is, a, this is a weird conversation topic, to be honest. Sometimes you just start talking about something in Animal Crossing, you're just like, nah, this ain't it, chief. This, this, this ain't it. This isn't, this ain't one of those knock out the park sort of conversations. One, two, three, four. Why do I have so few seashells on the seashore? Does she sell them all already? <laughs> I really only got four seashells. Despite the fact we picked them all up on the south and east beach already. What am I to do? I have to run all the way to the west now. Um, oh yeah, contag uh, contagious laughter. I, I suppose if anything, those sort of like, uncontrollable laughing bits are more like contagious laughter with yourself. You're like infecting yourself with laughter. The happy virus, as you might say. Although, <laughs> doesn't the happy virus have a, a very like distinctly dystopian feel to it? <laughs> Being infected with a happy virus. Seriously, all the seashells are on this seashore. How did this happen? Probably because I never come here to actually pick up seashells in the first place because there's no reason to come around this side of, of the island. 
If only we had a reason. If only there was someone who could possibly put down some decorations or control exactly where buildings are. I could put something down on that side of the island for me to actually go there. Oh well. <laughs> in all honesty, it'd, it'd probably be... The, the, the next... Why is this tree a different colour? Oh, is it the trees are all slowly changing a colour? It's just... Oh yeah, but doesn't this happen? Like in autumn, the, the, the trees all slowly start to change colour. It's just them. Um, some of them go at different rates. I think that's about right. <clears throat> uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. What, wait, what was I saying? Contagious laughter. Oh yeah, it's like a, a contagion of yourself. Happy virus. That's what I was going for. <laughs> Doesn't that sound... Something about saying the happy virus makes it sound very dystopian. It sounds like it should be in a plot or something. I mean, we happy for you. Isn't that the, the whole thing? They've got one more. It's not a virus, I suppose. It's more like a happy drug that they've got going on. Well, I suppose a lot of drugs out there are meant to be a happy drug, quote, quote. But probably, you probably should not take them. <laughs> is my case. Or if you do it, please do it responsibly. <laughs> That's all I can really say about that sort of thing. That, that, that's what the, the drug talk we had back in school was about. Like uh, the TED talk, but it wasn't, not, not TED. Um, Frank, although I think Frank is about smoking, isn't it? Is it about drugs? I, I honestly can't remember. Whatever the UK equivalent is, came to our school and that was basically the gist of it, which is stuck with me, you know? But basically like, we don't think we can, you know, if best you can avoid it, don't do it. But we know not all of you are going to follow that. So if you're going to do it, please do it responsibly. Please do it safely, etc. etc. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I guess that's good advice. I don't know, maybe, maybe you should go to the experts for sound advice and that sort of thing rather than <laughs> paying attention to what I'm saying. Anyway, my, my whole point with it was the happy advice sounds quite more sinister. But take, contagious laughter doesn't sound as sinister, does it? I don't know, I suppose it sort of de depends on the sort of your, your your state of mind while you think about it. I guess if you think about it from a much more cynical point of view, contagious laughter does sound quite... You know, not good. <laughs> a bit of a curse, if anything. You start laughing, everyone else starts laughing. Downward facing dog might be a yoga pose, man, but upward facing otter is a way of life. Yep, today is a good day. I nearly forgot I had to make a call later, so I'm going to put this piece of paper here to remind me. Um, yeah, why was I going with this? I don't know, why was I going with any of this? It doesn't make any sort of... What of this nonsensical? Contagious laughter, stifling laughter. I feel like I've talked about contagious laughter before, but I don't even know anymore. At this point, there's almost certainly an episode out there with a repeated title. Of a sort. There was nothing I could do to stop it. Well, I could. I could, I could check every single episode every time I name them to see if I've already done the title, but I can't be bothered. Plus, if you haven't been called out on it yet, you're good to go, as far as I'm concerned. Of course, that doesn't apply to many things in life. Perhaps only this one very specific situation. I'm going to customise things, I forgot. Customise fish. Stink bug is doable, char is probably less doable. I can't even remember where you get chars. That's a river fish, right? Is that the upper level of the fish? You know what we should have done when we were doing... When we were doing fishing, Nick Mal point like grinding we should have been fishing in the, the upper the upper rivers just for a chance of like golden trout etc and those sorts of fish so that would have been rather useful for getting their statues inevitably or eventually i should say maybe not inevitably i don't think i'm i'm ever gonna get every single furniture item and customization in this game to, even if i play it every day I, i'd have to play this for like six years and actually really focus on getting all of them which I'm not going to do, because that sounds like a lot of effort, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I'm trying to think of situations where I could not stop laughing. There's sort of like an uncontrollable giggle. Giggle fits. That also sounds kind of sinister, doesn't it? What is it? What is it about, like, talking about laughter that makes it sound so sinister? Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just putting my own artificial, like, sinister takes on all these things. And really, they're just as innocent as they can be. The onus is on me. The blame is on me. I still say my throat feels rather uncomfortable for whatever reason. 
But not so much fat. It feels like there's a tickle in my throat anymore. But you can probably tell. You, you can tell when my throat feels a bit weird because I'm <laughs> the way I speak sounds considerably more different. The sing-songiness is gone. It's more like a, a usual drone rather than something which is a bit more bouncy. Me likes to think. But also, I suppose that's a, a bit of a reflection of how I feel, you know? I feel much more mellow right now rather than hype. Where, why am I going up here? Oh, I was going to put the salmon fish model. That's right. We, we still have it right. Why in my mind do, did we already put this down somewhere? I don't know. We have too many fish models. Maybe we should put this one over over a river, I guess. So it's kind of like we're putting it out of a river mouth. Down by the river mouth. It's one over here. Don't know how big it is. We'll just spin it around. Even though the name tag thing is on the other side. This is just a bit more convenient to get all the fishes swimming in one direction. I do like this bamboo sort of mini picnic area we got going on. I would say bit, bit, this top left side of the island, probably the best part of the island. If you look at the rest of it, you're like, hmm. <laughs> Could be better. Could be worse as well, to be fair. Let's not get too hasty. What should we do now? I don't know. I honestly can't be bothered to follow up these Nick Mal missions. Man, should we just clear out our storage? That sounds, that sounds, I'm not going to say it sounds more fun, but it's at least more mindless work. Oh. Do we have any more recipe items that we need to get at this point? Alright, there you are, Balloon. I can't imagine there's even any recipes going on at the moment. But there's a red balloon, so perhaps we will have a different ingredient recipe posted in here. I did not mean to place that. For some reason in my mind I was like, this is a recipe, so I immediately put it down. When do when do mushrooms start spawning? I wonder if we got all the fall items. No, we haven't got the fall campfire, right? So so we missed out on some. <laughs> Surprisingly again. That's how difficult it is to get all these some um, furniture items. Like we don't even have all the cherry blossom items if I recall either. What a nuisance they are. Let's put stuff away. I mean let's take it out again. I guess we can clear out some of this stuff. Do we need all all of this stuff? We probably don't need all these trash trash cans, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Five is probably a good number. The rest we can sort of just sell. Star fragments are also probably a bit excessive. 23 tailor tickets, that's quite a lot as well. No, we'll do, we'll do fashion items because that's always the ones we have most of. So let's start at the bottom. Start at the bottom, now we're here. Any duplicates we'll get rid of. Any colour duplicates of items we're not likely to use, also get rid of. If I just be do how it works. That's not, not not really a human way of speaking, now I think about think about it, but you know what I meant, probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if I've had a situation in any of my videos I've recorded so far where I was just like, oh this is so funny, I can't stop laughing at it, despite the fact it's inappropriate. To be fair, actually, now that I talk, I talk about that out loud, life is strange and uh, true colours. There's a few moments where... <laughs> it's not like I'm, I'm laughing at the situation necessarily during an inappropriate time. It's more like I make a very... Not inappropriate comment, because that makes it sound like I'm saying a rude comment. More like a, a comment not fitting of the current atmosphere. <laughs> at the exact moment. Which makes it seem a bit more insensitive and intended. But it's a sort of situation where it's just like, you know, I, I couldn't help but notice it. So I had to point it out. Funny glasses, more like shmoney shmashmas. I don't know. <laughs> I'm too tired. I'm not even tired. It's a good thing I didn't do any recording today. I, I, I was thinking earlier I was going to like record something. I was like, you know what? <clears throat> I don't really think I'm feeling up for it. So I didn't. And here we are. Turned out to be a good decision because I cannot hold a conversation right now, apparently. It's all gone from my mind. My pockets are full. How's the League of Legends World competition going on right now? Like, probably good? I don't know. I've not really been watching nor keeping up with it. But I've seen people are having a grand old time watching it. Or not, depending on how well the teams are doing, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think we'll just sell these items at the normal. We just round off this episode here. 
and hopefully tomorrow. What what time does the the thing start? Does it start at it starts at three o'clock? Maybe my time. Let's see when we have question direct actually starts. Because I, I want to record it after it, it comes out. I'm more crossing direct. I'm, I'm gonna record my um. Animal Crossing the day after it, not the day after it comes out, but after it's released. Uh, start time. When does it start? <clears throat> 7 a.m. Pacific time. Pacific time. What, what time is it in Pacific zone? So, so it would have been 15 minutes ago. Oh, 3, 3 p.m. it starts, okay. That's totally fine, I can watch it at 3pm. It's only 20 minutes long anyway. So I could record it at the same time. Or I might record it at 5. Who knows? Who knows? I'll have to see. But for now, we'll round off this episode here. Sorry. I think it was a pretty bad episode today. But you know, you, you, you get your highs and lows when you do something every day for 500 days in a row and also. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscriptions, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me Dear Darling Discord. Follow me on Twitter down below. Hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.